It's Thursday morning. I don't know where the week has been, has gone. It's been super busy for me. And if you're wondering why I keep wearing this hat, it's because I'm trying to protect my face from the sun. It's incredibly hot and sunny. It's 80 degrees right now, almost 80 degrees, and it's 11, so you know it's gonna be a hot one. And I've gotta run a lot of errands today and be out of the office doing work stuff. So um, I figured might as well cover up and I have like a three block walk to and from my office from my parking spot so in that time I want to make sure that even though I'm wearing sunscreen my face has as much protection as possible and as you can tell I'm still super tired um, yeah it's all right though it's just um, today's like the first week week is done so three more weeks of, of Ramadan it's crazy it's gone by really fast Alhamdulillah. Hello. it is Friday afternoon in fact it's almost evening um, so I started a vlog yesterday which was Thursday morning which you probably just saw assuming that I edit this the way I had planned to um, I didn't record anything after yesterday morning or today um, except for this and that's because yesterday was kind of crazy. So Erica, who you saw, in, I guess, a couple of vlogs ago, um, she and I had gone to the law library to do some research, and then we went to the bank because I had to go and um, transact some business. So we are walking towards the entrance of the bank, and this lady's coming out, and she's like, hey, you may want to wait a minute. There's like a guy in there, and he's like crawling on the floor. And it looks like he soiled himself. So we're like, okay, maybe we should go into a different entrance. So we go and try to kind of look for a different entrance. And in the meantime, we notice a guy is crawling through the revolving doors of the entrance that we had just left. Um, no one seems to be really helping him. He's just on his own. He's in like hospital, uh, like a hospital gown and like scrubs. He has sold himself. He's literally crawling about to go into the street. I mean, it's very slow, but it's he's headed in that direction. So I'm like, okay, if no one's gonna help him, I'm gonna call 911. I don't know what else to do. Like, I don't have the training to be able to go up to him and actually help him. So I call 911, I tell them the situation, you know, tell them where we're at, things like that. And they said, okay, we're gonna send somebody on the way or, you know, send somebody to, to your location. So at that point, I'm like, okay, someone's coming. I go into the bank. Um, and am doing my business. And Erica actually goes back out because she didn't have any business to do. And so when I'm done, I go back outside and I'm like, what's going on? Cause she was standing there with like a couple of like, I guess security guards for the bank. And she's like, so the cops came and they're like, oh, we've been dealing with this guy all morning. And basically kind of just followed him, but didn't really do anything. And Erica's like, if they've been dealing with him all morning, this is like, two two ish two thirty what have they done obviously this guy needs help and they've not done anything so erica and i crossed the street to kind of go to where the cops and this guy had went to see what's going on so there's like a little park there and the guy's sitting under a tree at this point thankfully at least in the shade and the cops are in like a golf cart talking to him and then just they leave and i'm like so angry Erica and I are both like freaking livid because they're supposed to help him this guy is clearly in need of help so if he tells them that he doesn't need help they are able to look at him and say actually we think you do need help he's either run away from a hospital or something but a man who's about to crawl into the street and has poop on him is needs help okay like you don't freaking need to be a cop to know that you can be anybody and know that so I'm like really mad at this point. I don't really know what to do. So Erica and I kind of, Erica called some contacts of hers. We, well, I ended up um, sending an email to Adult Protective Services. They sent me something saying that they received it, but no follow up. So I have no idea what happened to this man. And I'm just livid that the cops didn't do anything. And I understand, like my dad was like, well, you know, if the guy says that he doesn't need help then the cops can't do anything. That's not really true. If, if a guy looks like, if someone looks like they're a danger to themselves or others, then they are able to help him. But they clearly didn't want to help him because, well, in my theory, it's because he's a black man and it was two white officers. And honestly, even a mentally ill black guy is going to say no to a couple of white cops asking to help him. And again, in my opinion, because of freaking experiences. So, you know, 
there's a man who needs help in like 90 degree weather outside and no one's helping him. And so I was really upset about this yesterday. I'm still upset about it today because I don't know what happened to this poor guy. People need help and like the number of people who were just walking past him and doing nothing was should not have been surprising, but it was. It was, it was shocking that you can just see somebody who's literally crawling, who's a grown man crawling in the street and nobody is doing anything. <sighs> people, if I teach you nothing, if I teach you absolutely nothing, let me teach you this one thing, which is help people who look like they might need help. Even if they say they don't need help, be that better person and say, are you sure? Is there anything that I can do? Give them water, give them something, even if they say no. Be the helpful person because we live in a society where unfortunately people who are mentally ill are sometimes, they are reluctant to ask for help from people because of their experiences with bad people who have hurt them instead of helped them. So don't be that person who hurts or worse ignores, well I shouldn't say worse ignores, maybe it's on the same level, maybe not, but don't be the person that ignores somebody who is in clear need of help. Don't don't be that person. Um, I don't want to be that person and I feel like I failed that guy when I did do something but it wasn't enough because obviously the cops didn't want to help him and I don't know what Adult Protective Services did. Um, my guess is nothing uh, because I'm jaded from experience but you know help help each other it's really not that hard we have especially in the United States so many resources that you can call to be able to help others and unfortunately sometimes those resources don't help but at least take a moment to maybe try because what if those one of those agencies had been able to help that guy you know then hey that's one person who is no longer on the street who gets the help that they need that's enough that's enough for me to quote unquote waste some of my time it's totally okay so help people especially during Ramadan not just if it's Ramadan all the time but you know it seems like you should be extra judged if you don't help somebody during Ramadan